Hello everyone, I am Akash and I welcome you all to this channel. So friends, in this video, we will be having a look at React machine coding question. So stay tuned and do watch this video till the end. So friends, what will happen is the interviewer will give you a link containing the question. The link can be of any online coding website like Code Sandbox, JS Fiddle, etc. Okay, and we will be asked to open our webcam and share our screen. After that, we will be given a problem statement. So friends, the problem statement that I was given was based on dark theme and to provide a scalable solution. Okay. So at that part, you can ask any question if you want. Okay. You can cross question the interview as well to clear your doubts. So now let's jump to the link that we were given. So friends, I was given a code sandbox link, something like this. Okay. And it was mentioned the dark mode challenge, as I told you. So now what you have to do is. Uh, what I want to say over here is that do read the question twice before attempting it. Okay. Don't directly jump onto coding. So now the next step that we are going to do is we have to go through the entire source code that is given to us. If you have any question, any doubt in our mind, we have to ask that question and always keep in your mind one thing that we have to, even if you like don't know the hundred percent complete solution, even if you attempt that question partially do code in a clean and efficient manner. Okay. So let's have a look at the source code now. So before having a look at the source code, let me show you the what we are going to make exactly. So this is our dark mode challenge and this is the button and we have to click on this button. Cool. So on clicking this particular button, the entire theme of this page will change and this icon will also change. And also after clicking it back, we will get the light theme. So we have to perform it first. Okay. And after that, we have to provide a scalable solution. And one more task that I was given, I will tell you like in between the video. So let's jump into coding. So this is the file section and this is the public folder as we all have. And inside this source directory, we all know that this is the index.js, which is the entry path over here. We are given this routes folder. It means we will be going now inside the routes. Then this is the entry path over here. It is mentioned app so inside this app folder we have one more index.js then inside the components app so inside the components inside the app.js so this is where our main code is written over here okay so go line by line okay use your basics now what you have to do is you have to go through the code first and uh, the interview also gave us like few CSS, like what will be the CSS class that we have to apply when we are going to click on this button. Few class were given to us, few like color code was given to us and the icon name was also given to us. So I also did some more digging. So that will help you in a while, while you are coding. So I went inside the styles folder and inside this we got this dark mode class. So this is the entire dark mode class that was used to like, you know, convert this into dark mode. So now let's begin the coding. So friends, let's first make the state. So we are going to make one toggle state and we will keep its default value as false. Now after that, this is our button. Now what we are going to do here is we simply going to add one on click friends don't fast forward this video okay do watch this video completely while i am coding so over here what we are going to provide it uh, we are going to simply do set toggle and we are going to toggle its previous value something like this create one state for toggling the uh, theme now all we need to do is we need to add the class on the basis of that toggle so the class was, uh, let's, uh, let's have a look at the class. What was the class? So friends, this is the class dark mode. So all we need to do is simply add this class over here and let's see if it is working or not. Let's click on this icon. Cool. So when we click on this icon, our theme is getting changed. But one thing that you will notice is our layout is also breaking. So we also need to like, 
we also need to give it a look like uh, we also need to keep it in mind that while we are coding we also need to go through the existing functionality also so this app was the main class for the layout so we are going to add this app class as well so it will not break the layout cool so as we can see that we are able to change the theme so friends the next thing that we have to do is over here over here we have to do is toggle and then the class that i was given was fsn so it is giving us error because it is not imported so let's quickly import it and let's see this so as we can see now okay uh, why it's not working okay it was we have to give it icon okay cool so friends one more thing actually the color is dark so that's why it's not visible uh, give me a second we have to do one more change over here we have to change the color as well so the color that was given to us was this something yellow so now let's click on this button cool so as we can see that we have completed the first step that was to uh, like toggle the theme so on clicking this we get the light theme on clicking this we get this dark theme so i hope this much is clear so now what we have to do is we have to provide a global solution so rather than doing this thing in every page on every page we are going to use context over here so what i did was i quickly went over here i create one directory and inside that directory i created one file that was theme provider dot js so friends don't skip the video okay so what we are going to do is um, export const and you should know how to create context while you are coding so it leaves a good impression over the uh, interview that you you know the code basically you don't need to google for like how to create a context it's good to know the concept but if you also know the like you know code uh, of the language in which you are using on daily basis so it leaves a good impression on the interview so over here we are going to have the children and we are going to return so what we are going to do is theme context dot provider and over here we are going to have a children cool so now over here we have to have a same functionality so i'm going to copy paste it over here and just give me a second use state cool it is also crying let's add this react comma so friends now um, it's not a good practice to expo expose this particular setter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one function toggle theme and inside this i'm going to perform this functionality of toggling the theme and as we all know it takes one property that is value and inside this what i'm going to expose is this toggle word and this toggle theme cool so i hope this context that we have created is clear so now what we have to do is we are going to comment it down and over here simply const from use context we can use that context using use context and over here goes our theme context and it is exporting two things toggle and one more was toggle theme toggle theme cool so now what we are going to do is simply replace it and uh, it is okay so friends one more thing that we have to do over here is uh, inside this index.js we have to wrap it so our theme provider and over here also just give me a second theme provider cool so let's see now it works or not 
so we have created the context let's click on this yeah cool friends so it's working fine and if you have followed this video till here and you are still with me then friends don't forget to leave a like and do subscribe to the channel so the next task that i was given to was inside this theme provider uh, okay so not inside this theme provider exactly so the interview asked me that let's suppose okay so you have to create a functionality um, when a user lands on a page so the theme will automatically get converted into the dark mode after few seconds so how we are going to do that so i quickly made one use effect okay and inside that use effect i made one timer using set time out and i asked the interviewer how much time out he wants so he told me 5000 so after this what we have to do is we simply need to perform this set toggle and uh, okay and uh, what we have to do is always focus on like your code what you are doing so over here we have to do the clear timeout as well so okay so what happens is it makes uh, this makes the impression on the interviewer that you know your code what you are doing so cool so let's see let's wait for five seconds cool so as we can see after five seconds our code like our mode was changed from you know uh, like uh, dark theme uh, da uh, light theme to dark theme and it is happening again and again because we have not added this dependency array over here okay so now what will happen is it will only be turned once after five seconds cool so friends uh, this was the another functionality that i was given and i hope this is also clear to you all so friends if you have learned something new so don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and friends do share this video with your other colleagues as well because it takes immense hard work to make such videos and you know one more thing like in this summer we have to close the fan to you know so that there is no voice disturb disturbance as well so don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching